All right, guys. How's it going? Hope you guys are all having a great Saturday, and uh, hope you guys are all enjoying the brand new content that just got dropped earlier this week with the update, we believe. Um, but people really started taking notice of it yesterday. Um, of course, I am talking about the Black Spindle quest line that spawns on IO. Um, I just wanted to give a quick video on the jump puzzle and everything because we got through it today. Uh, I currently have it um, equipped. We went through and did it the first time. First shot, got it. Um, I have both uh, both skins for it. That's one skin, and here's the other skin. And then obviously you have the default. Uh, then after that, you unlock the heroic mission, which is 400 light. It was a struggle. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. It's basically the same thing, only you have arc burn, and it's a lot harder because everything's uh, power level 400. A lot of fun, though. Insanely fun. Um, so we went through and we did that. We got the catalyst for it. Um, and we also went and got the uh, oracle portion done where you have to go find all... I think it's five hidden chests within the mission uh and then you have to kill oracles at the end uh in three different sequences to unlock um and you get the ship blueprint blueprints which everybody's uh saying that this is the hidden missing vault of glass chest um so basically what i'm gonna do is just show you how to get through the jump puzzle fast and efficient uh i might mess up a couple times uh on the way but i know a lot of people probably don't know about the shortcut in the green room and probably jump around all the ceilings which is fine uh typically what you want to do is you want to be able to get to the ads or the uh the start of the boss rooms uh with 15 minutes and some change left uh once you get this routinely going um it's going to be key for the heroic mission that you unlock after you get the spindle initially um, because trust me when I tell you it is hard we ran it with two hammer titans with melting point and I was an arc staff uh, I use stompies right off the bat um, just to make sure that I can get through the jump puzzle quickly and efficiently and then once we get to the end I switch over to raiden flux all right so once you spawn in, um, what you need to do is jump over to this pillar over here. Jump up over here. If you are a Titan, I recommend you using Upward Lift, I believe, and Warlock. Uh, jump Glide, I think. I'm not sure what it's called. And then Hunter, I'm using Triple Jump. Just because you have the ability to overcorrect um, in case you run into some issues. So basically, you just jump up here, and you're going to be killing the Blight. It's going to open up this hole. You're going to drop down into the cavern, which opens up. There's a bunch of dead Vex bodies everywhere. Pretty freaking cool. I haven't been this excited about Destiny content in a long time. Uh, it's kind of got that Warmind, Balt of Glass feel. It's, it's, it's very, very cool. Very, very cool. So obviously... Uh, if you're watching the video, um, you've gotten to this part a whole lot. The, the, the object isn't really to show you how to do all these things. The object is to really just show you about the green room and uh, how you can save some time there. Pretty simple, pretty neat stuff. I really hope that this is a foreshadowing type thing for the type of content that we're going to see in Forsaken. Because if it is, the nostalgia with Vault of Glass and, you know... People just never really finding that last chest that everybody talked about. We're in for a really good treat. A really, really good treat. I should have went. I didn't realize that wasn't pushed out. No. No. And I died. So basically, you just crouch all the way through that section, and the blocks force you out. Um, it's super simple normally, but if you miss your opportunity, then you're going to have a bad time, obviously. So, we're just going to keep running. Probably shouldn't have risked this one. Nope. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. It's all good, though. 
like I said, the video is not to show you guys the route specifically, but for those of you that don't know how to bypass the jumping portion in the green room or the grass room, um, that was the focal point of the video, essentially. Um, and then obviously the path. I mean, we've got 17 minutes left. Like I said, if you're going into the heroic portion of the, the quest line, you're going to want to get to the ads portion of the of the uh, event with about 15 and a half minutes left. Which typically isn't too bad. It, it, you could probably do it faster. Um, I just noticed that that's been my consistently fastest time. And that's with maybe a couple errors here and there and waiting for other people to catch up it's kind of weird how like how everything's kind of tilted at an angle and it's it's wonky it's it's really really cool though really really cool so you basically go through this warm mind looking room and then you come out on the other side and you got another jumping puzzle which who doesn't love jumping puzzles You've got all these exploding things that are no bueno, and you have snipers, of course. Snipers really hurt. They're not fun. And then you got to make it to that doorway over there. Once you get through the doorway, watch out. That floor is not your friend. You get to this portion where you have a bunch of, like, portals and tubes and stuff. What you want to do is jump over here and uh, get on this ledge over here to the right make sure you're jumping over the cracks you want to go all the way down to the last one last one on the top right and basically just jump down this tube this will put you into the green room that i was discussing and normally people spend a lot of time jumping around the little mossy ledges all the way around working their way higher and higher as you go around and the object is to get back up over here uh, but ideally, all you really need to do is once you enter the room, you come down, you crouch, um, and you go into this little hole and drop down here, jump over this, go up these stairs, and this will take you right where you need to be. Um, we might as well just keep going. So you go around this ledge. You don't have to jump on this portion if you're holding left on your left stick inward, um, but most people jump over that portion because you will get pushed off. So you jump through that door. This is kind of tricky at times, but easy enough. A lot of ledge stuff that you need to be aware of that looks kind of tricky, but it's not. Um, once you get into this section, this this will be this will be where all the ads are down here, basically. So, like I said, quick and easy video. I just wanted to put something together to show you guys what was going on. Uh, I know a lot of people in the Discord and everything have been wondering, and uh, they all know that I got it and kind of wanted to share the experience. So thanks for watching, guys. Truly appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday, and I'll see you guys later in the stream. Thanks. Peace.